Hey, what is up you guys? My name is Jess and welcome or welcome back to Planted Hippie. Welcome back to another Planted video, you guys. As you can see, we are back in the car on the move and traveling again to another nursery. And this time we are going to be touring Equigenera's USA location in Apopka, Florida. So we have driven about an hour and a half from St. Augustine to Apopka and we just got here. Austin is letting the dogs out because we had to bring them with us since it was sort of like a little day trip to go plant shopping and we are letting them use the bathroom and we just pulled into the parking lot and as you can see we are the only ones here it looks like so they do have a sign out there that says we're open so and I did also call yesterday to make sure that they were open on Sundays so they are indeed open they had an open house last weekend so I'm guessing that's why it's not really popular right now since a lot of the traffic came last weekend but this is perfect filming conditions because it is now looking like the greenhouse is empty so I am so excited to do this nursery tour for you all I love Equigenera I know it's a super popular uh, greenhouse and online shop and they do uh, live sales on Instagram so I know it's a very popular nursery and a lot of people uh, shop from there so yeah I'm just super excited to do this greenhouse tour of Equigenera so let's go ahead and get started all right we have made it inside oh my gosh guys so many anthuriums still left I'm so excited to start looking at everything so this fold little rack right when you walk in are like huge Vici eyes. Here are some Monstera elbows, some Billies. Oh my God, some massive Vici eyes. That looks. What is that? Mm. Look at that Vici eye. There's so much more to see. Let's go look. This is just the first row. How crazy. There are some Thai constellations right there as well. That's where you walked. That's where we walked in. Grimbo, we can finally see you now. Hey, look at me. Austin doesn't like how I cut his hair. I do it every year because his little, he gets hot. He's hot right now. And then we have Peach. This is how I have Peach with me, how we travel with Peach, because she doesn't like to be on the ground. Mm -hmm. Let's go see my plants. I think this is a Jose Buono. Jose. Oh yeah, Jose Buono. <gasps> they have little baby queens. Oh, the prices are up here. Oh, 50. You got two birthdays, so don't kill it. <gasps> Look how cute. Look at that new leaf. I love Anthurium. That's just straight luxurians, no radicans. Looks like it's a cross. The second little aisle here. Oh my god, babe, I have to get up early marks. Oh my god, look at you. Oh, that's what I was telling you about. These are the Epipremnum marbles. Don't let me forget that queen so yeah, the second little area looks like we have, what are these? It's a type of philodendron. There's this, oh, I think these are ring of fires. <gasps> awesome, these are little baby ring of fires. And these are, how much? They're 40. The queen, the little baby queens, don't let you forget, yes. Yeah, they're they're 40. Say that again. A ring of fire. Oh, these are other new plants. These are to the right of where you walk in. They must have been having like a little show here with the TV last weekend. Oh my gosh, look at this like rogue little beautiful looks like a regal or a crystallinum. What are these? What does that say? So yeah, this next section that was away from that wall over there are like these little crates with like Plaminii, McDowells. I believe this is like a Sodoroi. I don't know. Damn. 
I know. What does that say? Is it a sorderoy? No label. How much is it though? 140. That's really nice. A new leaf though. It's still really soft. And here you can see our like some hanging displays of uh, what exactly? I'm not sure. Oh babe, these are spiritus sancties. All of these are spiritus. And then these ones look like patriciers, philodendron. Yep. Austin, look at all the patriciers. I really want to get one of these. These are really cute. There's some like unfurling. I want to get one that has like a brand new leaf. See, doesn't say the price on them. I want one with like an unfurling leaf, pristine. I know. Look at that one too up there. Yeah. Then coming across the aisle, looks like we have some super super red. Varicosum, more Spirit of Sancties hung up here. These are a lot wider than Dom's at Redleaf Exotics. That's the only other place I've seen them in person. These ones are like really wide. Dom's look more like these. So I guess it's just like a variant of how seedlings come out. Some Jose Bueno, Buenos, Bueno, Jose Bueno. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I think these are more. Jose Buenos. All different sizes. Wow. That one's really pretty. I've been wanting one of these. That's a really good jeans it looks like. Very pretty. The bigger ones are 100 but they don't have the smaller ones marked. Some more really vibrant varicosum. On this side it looks like we have some desert roses. I know these are super popular. Ooh, they're like variegated ones too. Wow, some really nice aglionemas. I'm getting near the fans, but oh well. I think I have the mic on the right settings this time, so it should be both mics on and working so that I can talk to you guys. Oh my god, look at those Vici eyes over there. They're huge. They're coming over to the next aisles. Austin is already ahead of me. He's so fast at looking at everything. These Escoletos look so, so good. Even more queens. I think Austin wants to get a queen all for himself for his own grow tent since he has two now. He has more room to have more plants. So that's a good one. I know, sometimes they don't have a, the little... It looks like they're using like little sticks with pricings on them. But the roots look really good. Yeah, those look really nice. What are you doing? You good boy. Here are some Hoya. Yeah, I thought... I, I thought they looked different. I think um, Hakuna La Planta has that same type. There's some Hoyas. Nothing that's really calling out. The Australis, the Australis Lisa look really healthy and nice. Ooh, are these Obliquas? Yeah. Yeah, Monstera Obliqua Peru, it looks like. I have Rambo on the leash now because my shoulder started to hurt with peach carrying her. I think the Raphidophora pertusa is right in there. We saw that in Miami. It was super, super beautiful. This is what I love about Equigenera. This entire living wall display that they have. Really, really cool. But on this row, it looks like we have super, super big anthurium. We have queens. We have this bird nest style anthurium, super huge. These queens are absolutely massive. I can sort of grab one. Look at the size of that. 
so, so big. I think they move into regals. I've always wanted a big regal like this. These beachy eyes that I saw earlier, freaking huge. Absolutely massive. Rambo, what do you think? You tired now? I really wanted to get a Bessier. What'd you say? I have stickers on some, but not the blue. I know. This is a Crystallinum and Bessier Anthurium cross. Super pretty. This new leaf is so beautiful. I think I want a normal Bessier if they have any. Super cute. All right, that's this whole first section. So let's go ahead and move into the next area, which we'll is through those doors over there. All right, moving into the next part of the greenhouses. Been here less than 21 days. They are for sale, but in the acclimation process. <gasps> Austin, they're, they're Alocasia Jacklins. Wow. But they are still in the acclimation process because Equigenera imports their plants from their like mother greenhouses in Ecuador. So, what is it? I don't know how to say it, but it's one of the really cool ones. How much is it? Two hundo. Yeah, it's awesome. Are these more marbles? Yeah, empty permanent marbles. Pretty. Some of them look like they're melting. Like, they're really sensitive to the heat. Oh, there's that philodendron joepii thing. Jopii, however you say that. Sometimes they can have like just random plants scattered everywhere, so you kind of have to be very diligent when looking at everything. Hey, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. This is super cool that we have the greenhouse like all to ourselves. Like this. Super quiet as well, except for him over there, he's being so loud. Oh wow. <laughs> We've gone Florida beauties. Let's go see him. Come on, Rimble. We have some Epipremnum elbows. These are huge too. Oh, nice and big, lots of variegation on them. I got my Epipremnum elbow from EFG, but these ones are really big. These are where I first saw them and actually wanted to actually get them. <gasps> Those are really cute Florida beauties. Rambo, stay here. <laughs> He's going under the greenhouse tables to you. I wanted one of these, but now looking at them, they look really like delicate and like fragile. What are these? God, there are so many plants. Whoa, look at those those caladiums over there are really cool. Like, <laughs> Careful with beach! You need like, like, <laughs> a need a tetanus shot. Oh, Rambo! He got look at him. He got stuck. Yeah, look at that leaf. Is that the thing at red leaf? The big Decipians? There's a vine on it. <laughs> it's got no name on it. Okay. I hate that there's never names on some of them. Absolutely insane. I wanted a plum any eye. Does that mean it's a cross or something? Look at all those queens. Oh, they're just everywhere. More Patriciae's, it looks like. Ooh, what is that? Those look nice. This whole section right here is just packed full of plants. And they're just sort of not even random, but just like here's a 
Here's just a random tie. Just chilling here. And the price lists are like on line with this QR code that they have on the wall, so. But it doesn't help much, because they have Warak, 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 Warak. All different prices. And they don't tell you the sizes. Yeah. It's okay, though. Really? Your faves. I think I want a little baby Jose Bueno. Bono. Oh my gosh, look at the ties down there. Oh wow. Look at the elbow. Some Oria and Albo, Monstera, Avinsonis. They're 200. Cheese. But really pretty. It's funny how some plants do better than others. Here are the ties. Oh my gosh, there are so many ties. I remember last time they didn't have many Monstera at all. I guess they finally got the memo. He's on the move. Oh, pretty. These look like Syngonium Oreas. They're not Albos. They're like more creamy. Can't really tell. Oh my god. It's a huge Plamanii. That's huge. How much? I think there's a price. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. There's a new leaf. It's really pretty. What you doing, Rambo? You ready? Come on, let's go. All right, that is the gist of that whole area and greenhouse section. They have like these two last rows roped off, so you can't go in those. So let's go ahead and move into the next part of the greenhouse. We have a lot to get through, as you can see, and so many freaking plants, guys. Complete your <gasps> The Orient. I, I, I saw some before. These ones look better. Look at them all. It Albos is Aurea. Colors. You can see it a lot better it says, than. It says it on there. Those are Albos. Look at over there. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the difference then. <gasps> How pretty! So many Syngonium. Oh my gosh, it's a sea of Syngonium. Some more Hoya. A lot of Pubicalyx looks like, and some orchids here. Wish they had blooms. Orchids would be kind of. There's a, a cool bloom though. If that's the real picture. Oh, we got the little planks. Oh my gosh, there's just so many freaking plants. Oh, it's a little wooden one. There's literally thousands. I want a good regal too. Oh, wow. There was more over there too. That one's like a little rogue one. I think so. Look at that chonk. This is the queen that Austin is going to add to his own collection, possibly. He wants one in his own tent, so look at that chonk. And the roots look really, really good. I feel like all the other ones that we've seen, can't really see the roots that much. These are those Alocasia Dragon's Breath. A lot of them. I like them at this smaller size. I feel like I've only seen them like super big. I don't love like super huge plants in some forms. Oh, I think I see some Bessiers over there. And I really want one. Let's go look. All these pink princesses. Literally in this entire thing, I see one with one little bit of pink on it. This pink is really nice too.
I think all of their stock is like Bessier and Crystallinum. They don't have like pure Bessier anymore. Yeah, it's the cross. Uh, that's what I've been seeing the water berry on them, or water barum, and the war queen in them. Really cool. I think Hakuna La Planta has them. These are so dope. I just wish it was just straight Bessier, though. Are you sure you're not just straight Bessier? No, you're Crystallinum and Bessier, too. That's so sad, they're all crosses. Oh, where's the mag crystallinum? Where's the mag crystallinum? Magnificum crystallinum. Those are pretty. Amazing. Freaking amazing. They're really like dry. If you're like, look how cute. Yeah, Magnificum Crystallinum. Really cool. They're all putting out new leaves. Look really good. These are good. And here's some Luxurians Crystallinum. Those are dope. Look really cool. Oh, they have them. I'm getting it. Look at them all over here. It's the Wengling. I can't say it. I still can't say it. Wengli eyes. Oh my God! This one has a new leaf. I'm getting it. They're only 200. They were like. They were like, they were like 300 on NSCs. I'm getting one. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm getting a Wenlangri eye. That is a big leaf jump. I love the ones with the brand new leaves though, how pretty. And you can already see that some of them are getting like that signature ribbed detailing. I'm trying to find one with a lot of ribbing on it. You can definitely see it on this one. If you have seen Winling VI, they have those really cool spiral inflorescences and they're really popular right now so I really want to have my own. I really like how this one looks. It's putting out a new leaf as well as if you guys can see into that pot right here. They have a really nice, it has a really nice red juicy root. So it also has a lot of really nice foliage on it. Some of them don't have a ton of leaves. This one has a lot of good leaves and they actually look good as well. This is like the only one with a blemish. And again, it's putting out a new one right now. So I think this may be a contender. Oh my gosh, this has been a wish list plant for so long. I wanted one so bad for so long. I can't believe they have it. Austin just whistled at me. I was trying to pick out my Wenlangri and Austin just whistles at me. I look up and he's holding this beast. That's insane. How much is that? That one says 150. 150? For that chonk? It's coming out pop. Look at that other one. Oh, the leaf is so pristine. Austin was right. I guess they do have Hoya. Quite a few, actually. Some just straight Magnificums. Oh, silver Magnificums. Those are cool. So they have like a little bit more silver venation on them, which is nice. I think those are the bigger ones of the water, the Queen Craw. Oh. Quella Marinson. Oh, look at the little forgetty eyes. 
sorry, I ran into the queen. They're so round. I know but these ones like are barely teardrop shaped. They're like Ooh, there. I know, I, th I know. I think they may be um, something else, but I want a Bessier too. It's so pretty. So crazy. I'm just not. They're crystallinum silvers. Gosh, I freaking love plants, dude. Yeah, in theory, I'm just straight crystalline them, it looks like. A lot of them have flowers, which is uh, cute. Gosh, so many. Oh my god, they are. Oh my god, I'm about to spend too much money. There are Bessiers, babe. Those are have to be straight Bessiers. Oh, these are 90. Damn, there's some pretty ones over there. Yeah, there's some right here. More queens. They have like queens on deck. I finally found the Bessiers. Oh my goodness. They're straight Bessiers. <gasps> yes. Straight. Beautiful. Bessies, or how the hell do you say it? I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna get one of these and one of the other ones. Do they have a price? Where are the prices? Oh my god, that one's super pretty. I'm not leaving without one this time. There's so many little baby ones. Oh my god. So freaking sheeny and pretty. Oh, that's why I'm getting one. And that like evil sinus. Like, so cool. Another cool one. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm getting like two wishlist plants checked off today. I'm so excited. There's Austin over there just with with Peach. I think he has Rambo too. Rambo's down there somewhere. Because I don't have Rambo. You better have Rambo. <gasps> you having a hard time picking? Where's your other queen? Okay, I'm gonna look around at these Bessiers, however the hell you say it, and pick my own. I can't believe I'm about to get, again, two wishlist plants crossed off. We're about to start actually shopping and looking for whichever ones that we want, and then I'll finish up this last little area and see what else they have. But, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm about to spend so much money. Pick out which plants we want. Oh my god, this one's really sheeny too. I want one that has a good like chunk like this, like a good stalk. That's actually a really good one. But you can see that the roots have dried up a little bit. So I want one that has nice, good, juicy roots like that other anthurium that I picked out. And then at least two leaves. I think there's one over there that I first initially saw that has two leaves. The newest emergent leaf looks really nice because I feel like you have to judge your anthurium off its like shape and its genetic shape. So if it doesn't have a good sinus, none of the leaves in the future will have good sinuses. So I feel like this one was really, really nice. I feel like that's like the classic Bessier shape. It has really good sheen to it. Can't really see the chunk, but the other leaf is still hanging on as well. It's really big too, so it's definitely still inflating. So that's definitely a contender. This one's really pretty, but it's only one. Oh, actually, it's two leaves. It's kind of nice. It's almost fully hardened off, it looks like. Oh, wow. This one has a lot of leaves. Oh, it's about to go, but it's putting out a new one. So freaking pretty. That's a contender just because of how many leaves it has. I actually would love a anthurium that holds on to a bunch of leaves rather than just like one or two. So crazy. Damn, that one is really pretty. It's super dry. I have to give it water like on the way home, but oh my gosh. That is so sheeny and like the perfect Bessier shape. I may just get this because of its shape, honestly. So cool. 
Austin's helping me pick one out with Miss Peach. What do you think, Miss Peach? What do you think, girl? You like the <laughs> you like the greenhouse? Oh my gosh, the lighting is like so bright on her. She's so white and angelic. Okay, I think this is going to be the one. It is only a two-leafer and it's pretty dry, but I love the shape of its leaf. And I think, again, the genetics of Anthurium, the leaf before this leaf, looks like it had the same exact shape. And I really like this shape. I think it's a classic Bessier. While there are some others that come out a little bit differently shaped. As you can see, that one's like really narrow and has really tall ears and the sinus is pretty far apart. Whereas on this one, the sinus is like perfect. It's not too far apart. Kind of like that one where it almost makes like an evil eyebrow look. So yeah, I was torn between this one, with this new leaf, this one of course, and then this one. But looking at the other leaves, I don't really like the shape of them. They're kind of narrow. Even on that one you can tell. The sinuses aren't just right and it's a little too round. But with this one, it's perfectly tapered at the top. It comes to a nice tip. And again, the sinus is really, really nice. And the venation on it, it looks really good. And it's super sheeny and it just looks like a classic Bessier. I'm gonna give it some water before we leave. And then I think that is it. That is everything that at least I want. I don't know if Austin wants to get anything else, but that is all my shopping done. But I have definitely found both wishlist plants I was looking for today. So I'm just super, super happy. So let's go see the rest of this and then let's head out because it is getting hot in here. Rainbow Joe is hot as well. And Miss Peach, I'm sure is hot in that bag. Are you hot? Here are some Milano Chrysums, sea of Milanos, going from like $50 to $100 it looks like. Gosh, super, super pretty. Down here it looks like they have that like elephant ear. It's a Philodendron Rugosum. They're supposed to feel like pig skin. Very, very cool. Here are some Philodendron Ruby Juvenile? What are those? I thought they were gonna be Gloriosum or something. Really pretty. It's really cool over here on that water wall. Ooh, I think there are some more Plowmanii's. I've always really wanted a Plowmanii. Yeah, they're really expensive. These are some Zebra Gloriosum, which means I think they just have more striping. Here are some philodendron linamiis. Linamiis? I don't know how to say it. Super cool. They have like these strawberry leaves that emerge. Some more plowmanii's. These are only 25. I may get a $25 one. No, I've already spent too much. I can't. <gasps> Look at these. Super vibrant when they first emerge. The beachy eyes are only 80, and that looks super pretty. Looking way better than mine that just recently root rotted that you guys saw in my favorites video. Here are some El Choco Reds. Freaking huge. There are some smaller ones up here. I think some of them are tissue cultured though because they're like, are doing that thing where they like jumble up on each other. At least that one is up there, but. Look how weird sprouting out lots of growth points. Super crazy. All right, let's go ahead and check out with our plants. All right, whenever you walk through the checkout area, there are also more plants. They have even more in this other greenhouse. So let's go take a look. There are tons of albos in here. It's a lot warm over here. And that's where all these regals are back here. This is where they have their entire table of regals, where I think they're not as expensive, but they're just these massive chunks, as you can see. Some of them have leaves, some of them don't. Super, super pretty. Just a sea of regal. Basically a repeat of all the other plants in the other greenhouses. 
just even more of them. And last time we were here, they were actually building this greenhouse over here that looks like it's done. So we're gonna go look at that as well. Looks like they keep the pink princesses over here. They're pretty reverted, it looks like though. Are those or not? Those are Philodendron Majesties. Those are regals? Oh, those leaves. Those don't look like regals. I don't know. They all say it. Though. They all are very variant though, so. All right, so entering the other greenhouse that they recently completed, it looks like they have orchids in this greenhouse. All orchids. Yeah, all orchids. Really cool. Looks like they have variegated ones, little ones, ground ones. I'm not really an orchid person. I know I like they're like it. a good, yeah, they're really cool and pretty. I just. I like the bulk of five stuff. Ooh, there's a flower. There's a flower. One soul flower. Very cool. Funny how they made an entire new greenhouse though just for the orchids. You can tell it's all new though. It's all freshly laid concrete. It's really nice. I'm so happy! And then Austin has my wind gear eye. How the hell do you say that? How cool. Those are really pretty. Those are the cool in the cabinet. I already have one in there of the cabinet. How much are they? No price, of course. Oh well. I guess this greenhouse, again, is just all orchids. So let's go ahead and head back into the main greenhouses. And I do think that does bring us to the end of today's video. Let's go ahead and roll the outro. Alrighty, we are back in the car, ready to head home. I have both of my brand new beautiful plants, my Anthurium Winlingrii and my Anthurium Besse AF. I don't know how to say that, but I'm so excited. Yeah, Bess or Besse AF. And the dogs are eating their lunch and rehydrating in the back because it was quite hot in there. But yeah, I so do hope you enjoyed getting to tour Equigenera with us today. I had such a blast. I cannot believe I got two wishlist plants scratched off my list while we were here. So if you did stick all the way to the end, I do appreciate you. And please ask that you leave a like, a comment down below letting me know if you have seen or checked out Equigenera before. Or even hitting that subscribe bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video and to help me keep on playing. Planting. Please also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at planted.hippie where I post new planty photos and occasionally reels daily. So with that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!